Day 29 of my road to 12,000 push-ups challenge for 30 days. You may have heard the saying that if you want to always look up to your childhood heroes, never meet them. That way you won't be disappointed. That's a lie. You see, the childhood hero that you have, the biggest one is you. And the things that you dreamed as a child, the things that you imagine yourself doing, are only moments away. It's a moment when you decide that I'm going to become everything I dreamed of. It's a moment when you promise yourself that I'm about to evolve. It's a promise that you make to yourself that I will not die and leave everything on the inside. But I'm going to pour everything out as an offering. I'm going to empty myself in life with everything that I've gone through, everything that I want to be, and I'm going to introduce myself in the mirror to a hero that only I saw. You just have to look at yourself harder and find the nemesis, because it's there all the time, right? I mean, there's always parts of yourself that you can overcome. So that's the whole thing about it, man. We're, we're scared to dive into our lives, what made us who we are. The beautiful people that we are, we're all jacked up in so many ways. That's the beauty of us. That's the beauty of me. I'm jacked up, but I figured out my own little process on how to get unjacked up and how to, I'm not gonna get the same, you know, I'm not gonna get the same way you're gonna get there. You may get there by going point A to point B. I might get point C to D to E to F, but I'm gonna be there the same way you are, just a little harder. You know, a lot of us, we wake up and we just, we just go with the flow. You can't go with the flow because sometimes the flow isn't always flowing in the direction that you need it to flow, right? Sometimes the flow isn't flowing into your life what you need and we just go with the flow. No, sometimes you gotta stop the flow and create a new flow. And the only way you create a new flow is you start living in intentionality. Everything that you do is on purpose. Everything that you do is for purpose. Everything that you do is purpose. If there's no purpose in it, free yourself from it. Do you hear me? If there's no purpose in it, free yourself from it. If that relationship, that friendship, that partnership has no purpose in it, free yourself from it. That habit, if it has no purpose in it, free yourself from it. How you spend your time, if it has no purpose in it, free yourself from it. That environment, if it has no purpose in it, free yourself from it. Because when you don't live intentionally in your life, you do random stuff. And when you do random stuff, you get a random result. And your life is all over the place. The best way to contend with problems, with issues, with adversity is action, is by taking action. The more you sit and the more you wait and the more time you spend with that adversity, with the upper hand inside your head, the worse it's gonna get. Something doesn't go the way you wanted it to go, you didn't get the job you wanted, you didn't get the hire, you didn't get the promotion, you can go home and sit there and dwell on it. That's not getting you any progress. Or you say, okay, you know what? Let me do a quick analysis. Why didn't I get that promotion? Oh, it's because I didn't get this qualification or I hadn't jumped through this gate. Okay, cool. Let me look into how do I get to jump through that gate so next time I will get the promotion and you start taking action. When you are committed, you're dancing to the beat of a different drama. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. You just a few years for retirement. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. Thank you for watching the 400 push-up per day challenge.